What's up, guys? It's me. Back again. With another hater piece. Alright, so I'm about to be making a QB style melody. You know, everybody wants to make melodies like QB, so I'm about to show you guys some sauce. Um, yeah, so. A hat. So, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I dropped my drum kit recently. You guys been killing it, and the feedback's been pretty good. You guys been saying you've been liking it, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description for that. And let's just get into it. Aha! So we got this little Omnisphere loaded at, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm about to go in here. I'm about to go into Omnisphere, and I'm gonna pick a bell, and I'll show you guys what I pick. All right, so I got this little bell thing going on right here. That's what it sounds like. But there's like that uh like decay to it that I don't really like, so I'm about to uh, try to fix that. Also, I'm gonna go to uh this knob right here, and I'm just gonna bring this down. And it kind of like muffles it, but makes it sound darker. I'm just gonna play with it till I like it. Yeah, I just tweak with it a little bit and this is what it sounds like. It sounds pretty uh pretty cool to be honest with you. Um now I'm gonna put the BPM to like 65 or like a low tempo, like 65 to like 70. Um I think I'm about to go with 67. And I'm just gonna go make a quick melody. When you listen to QB's melodies, they're pretty simple. They just add a lot of effects, which I'm gonna show you guys later. But they usually just have a simple, catchy melody. Um, this is what it sounds like, what I came up with. It sounds really dry, it sounds really robotic. But I'm just gonna add like a couple bass notes and maybe a top pattern, and just some little effects just to humanize it. Alright, now that I got this little melody, I'm going to press Ctrl A and then Alt R to randomize the velocity and the panning so the bells are hitting on different sides of the ears and it just sounds randomized with the velocity so it sounds realistic. Now I'm just going to press Ctrl A again and then I'm going to press Alt S and what this does is just strums the notes and I'm just going to put it right around here so it's not overdoing it but you can still hear the effect. And I'm also gonna try to find a sample from Omnisphere that I like because this bell kind of just sounds empty. So I got this pad sound. Um, it was in uh, Retro Lo-Fi Textures in Final Graph. It's called My Old Soul Vinyl Pad. That's what it sounds like. So the first effect that I'm going to put on this channel is uh, RC20. It's a pretty, uh, if it would open, oh my gosh. Anyway, I got this RC20 plugin. Uh, it says it's trial mode because I haven't registered it yet. Don't worry, I, I bought it. 
I bought it for $40 on Sweetwater. I'll leave a link in the description. It was on sale. But I slept on this VST. It's actually really good. I like the vinyl and the uh, wobble. The store is pretty cool. Digital is pretty cool. And the space is nice. I don't really use magnetic, but the width is a pretty good part too because it uh, stereoizes it. But um, usually what I do, I just bring down the noise a little bit. Uh, bring up the wobble. Store it a little bit. Um, digital, you don't want to go too crazy on it because it'll just make it sound kind of bad. But I just put it up a little bit over here on this knob and for the space I put this up but I think down but I take down the decay because it'll just make the mix muddy if you keep it all the way up That's what it sounds like with the effects <laughs> Now what I'm gonna do is just take an EQ, the stock EQ from FO, and just take out some of the lows and up some of the highs. And I'm also gonna add a half time, but I'm gonna drag the knob down a little bit so it's not actually half sped. It just has like a little uh, bounce behind it. And I'm gonna put it behind the retro color and the parametric EQ. That's what it sounds like with half time and the EQ. You can hear that little uh, effect in the background with the halftime. I also found this plugin a couple days ago. It's called Analog Pro. I found it on Plugin Boutique and it was like $10, so I just uh, picked it up. And it's actually a really dope VST. I usually go for this uh, for the VHS tape preset. And then I change this to Rainy Street. I just bring this down a little bit. You can hear it's crackling, so I'm just going to record this into Edison real quick. Okay, I recorded the melody in Edison, and I'm going to use this uh, guitar bass from Contact. You guys seen me use it a couple of times. It's the Scarby Rickenbacker bass, and I'm just going to follow the bass notes. I'm just gonna add a guitar rig and then I'm gonna go to bass amps and go to vintage bass vintage bass vintage bass take out big fuzz um, basically what it does it just takes out the high distortion I'm gonna add an EQ and then boost some of the high ends All right, so I got this guitar. It's called Ample Guitar. If you guys don't have this VST, you guys are sleeping. Um, this is a real dope guitar. It sounds really realistic. Um, I just copied the pattern from the bells and then put it into another track and just copied the settings over. And I put a halftime on it also, so it just has some variation. This is what it sounds like. Now I'm gonna grab this flute. I don't know if it, I'm gonna keep it in here, but I'm just gonna try to make a melody with it. It's called Orange Tree Samples, Meso Winds. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna lay down a pattern. I'm just gonna record the loop into Edison and then I'm gonna play with the pitch and if I don't like anything just keep it the same. Alright so I recorded the loop and I just pitched it down 200 cents and this is what it sounds like. So that's pretty much the melody. So if you guys enjoyed leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Let me know in the comments if you guys learned anything new, if you guys like this video. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and also snapchat. I made a new snapchat at arrows creatives and yeah, I'm out